Hello, you beautiful people. And James. And welcome back, guys. And so today we bring you another new channel, and this one is called Oversimplified. Yep. And this one is about the first Punic War, uh, part one. So, yeah, we're going to do some uh, history watching. Yay! It needs to be oversimplified because uh, I don't even know what the Punic War is. <laughs> James is confused about yesterday, so that's how much he doesn't know about history. <clears throat> what was um, I'm, what I'm just, is I'm yesterday? Just, I'm just going to stay <laughs> quiet. <laughs> let's, let's all learn together. Let's I'm learn. ready. Yes, me too. I'm but ready. before we start, can y'all hit that subscribe button down there? It's, it's red, has a bell next to it. You can hit that one as well. It would really help us out, help up with the algorithm, because uh, that's that's the wave we're supposed to be riding right now. Is that algorithm? And, uh, <laughs> that's right. The algae wave. Hey, and uh, hey, like it. the Bitcoin. And comment because uh, some of us actually replies to those comment sections. So uh, look out for a reply. I mean, so. Oh, and don't forget about our new VPN. <laughs> Click the link below and get an exclusive Shut up. with a huge discount and a 30 day money back guarantee. <laughs> Intro. Oh, sorry, bro. What did you want to say? I didn't say it about his comment thing, the, the series. <laughs> so I was going to throw that in there because for new, yeah. view, for new people that come in, needs to know about it. Go ahead, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to say it anymore, bro. <laughs> but, 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 but what series is he, is he even talking about, man? You don't remember. We Maybe. were actually talking about it like Saturday. Okay. For well, the people, I told you about it Saturday. For the people in the bag, bro. Oh. <clears throat> yeah. So we're going to be doing, um, so what? what is it? <laughs> James. <laughs> he's made me feel weird saying this now like what is got, wrong with him we got we got this we got this we got this james is, <laughs> I don't know, he, he's tired so he's putting it on us we feel in the gravity from his underbeard <laughs> <laughs> a black hole yeah Oh man! It keeps all right. the secrets right there. <laughs> <laughs> Dumbledore. <laughs> hey, we popped. <laughs> oh, you stupid! Uh, all right, let's go, bro. You're uh, literally talking about a beard I don't have when there's someone with an actual beard here. Yeah, but yours <laughs> yeah. is still darker. James, you have to understand the camera angle sounds, I'm looking at, though. Sounds so racist coming from Remember you, the camera No, 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 dude. We're not, you're not seeing, we're seeing like it literally looked like you got like a dark beard. That, now you got a bit of light, but if you go that again, it just looks like you got a little beard. Like, it's because you're, 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 you're 480. Glorious, breathtaking. <laughs> Shut up. Shut your dick. Now, along with some Punic War character pins. Buy them or I'll marry your mother. It's your choice. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, uh, uh, you dog. Okay. You sure have a lot of dignitas. Kiss me. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. oh, that's how George's face looks. Hi, son. Just you ate him? What can I do for you? <laughs> you know how you always say Rome is the greatest civilization in the world? It bloody well is. Well, I was just wondering, what makes us so great? How did we come to be? Wow. My son. Boy. <laughs> Why did you choose to eat the dolls? To this side of the room. <coughs> the story of Rome begins with these beautiful baby boys going to town on some she wolf mommy milkers. That's Yo. gross. You're gross. Oh, uh, sorry, son. You're not gross. I but love those you. Titties. They're called Romulus and Remus, and when they grew up in 753 B, they founded Oops. Rome. But there was just one problem. They couldn't agree on which of them should be the king. But they. Worked it out peacefully, right? <laughs> oh, heavens no. <laughs> Romulus caved Remus's skull in with a shovel. Here's a picture. Our first king committed fratricide? I know. Fratri <laughs> Look at his face. When's the part yeah, where he, he becomes the greatest losing. civilization, you ain't gonna Dad? Win. Well, sure. you see, at first Rome was full of men. Oh, yeah. I'm talking like a real Lingo sausage <laughs> party. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. So we invited some neighboring cities Huge over for a big pot. feast. And in they, it. And they we robbed all their women. kidnapped all yeah. of their women. Here's a picture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> Look at that one. She's Hold on, what'd you say, Bulldog? I know, I know about this. I was, I was just saying this. what, yeah, yeah, how Rome was formed, where it was like there was too many men, and then they invited all the city states over, 
and just killed all the men and took their women. And that's how Rome started. Oh. He's like, yeah. <laughs> this is messed Bulldog up. Was You're messed up. Ugh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'll be a better father. I promise. <laughs> so then, finally, Pokes after the centuries eye. of monarchy, those tyrannical kings started getting a little too big for their britches. So we overthrew the kings and established Rome as a republic. Is that when all the killing stopped? <laughs> Heavens no. <laughs> That's when the killing surged, baby. We went wild and conquered the Latin League, the Samnites, the Etruscans. Woo! What a rush. Dad, He's Rome happy. seems pretty barbaric. You're barbaric! <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you about the time a prophet told Saturn his son would one day overthrow him. So, so Saturn literally ate his own son seconds after he was born. Is that true? I don't want to see a picture. Here's a picture. The Dad! Look at that! Hmm? That's messed up, man! Are we really this uncivilized? Hey, hey! If we were so uncivilized, would we use communal toilets where we all fart and poo together in one big stinky, steamy, dirty toilet room? Yeah, Dad! We would! <laughs> Clean your butt with a sponge, Timulus! But all these guys just used it! What's wrong with your son, bro? I don't want to be Roman! This is so weird! <laughs> you're weird! Oh, oh, oh man! Sorry, you're not weird. I'm sure so you're look like that. probably fine. <laughs> oh, no! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, it's in his eyes. That's what are we, what are we the watching? Roman Republic, the Roman Republic, the nation that, since its Rome, foundation, the had been War. stabbing necks all the way down the Italian peninsula. But this isn't... Why don't we just watch Rome on HBO? We'll learn all this. What, that that, that okay. British TV series where you don't learn this. It's okay. on about a Pacific time in Roman oh. history. This is the start of Rome, the Punic War, which made Rome. Okay. You're not having, you're not having fun, James. I'm having a blast, but I haven't learned anything yet. Well, you need to listen. They've literally told you so much. Well, I can't concentrate because I'm looking at the animation. Empire mm. that ruled uh. the known world. Not yet, anyway. This is a relatively juvenile room. Still just a regional power. <laughs> In 264 BC, the big daddy of the Western Mediterranean was Carthage. Let's rewind yep. a bit. Carthage was founded in 814 BC, when some Phoenicians in Tyre had a mega surplus of goods and decided to export those goods across the Mediterranean. They became the dominant trading power in the region they and to support their growing areas. trade network, the Phoenicians established a number of colonies, one of which was Carthage. Therefore, Carthage began its life as a Phoenician trade colony, and the Carthaginians were actually Phoenicians. Or, if you're a Latin-speaking Roman, they were Punic. Hence the name of the video. Oh. Over the centuries, Carthage gradually expanded and became the region's base of power. Just like Rome, Carthage was a semi-democratic republic with oh. its own senate and judiciary. But there were oh. also some pretty hefty differences between the two. While Rome was big into farming and stabbing people in the neck, the Carthaginians, on the other hand, just like their Phoenician forefathers, had built their power through trade and navigating There you go, the bulldog. They went here Good job. and there, selling ivory <coughs> tusks, gold, and slaves. And as a result, they were rolling in it. Mm. Whenever they weren't Not busy swimming bulldog around bulldog. in their copious hoards of money, in their spare time, they also possibly enjoyed Remember sacrificing their children to right? Baal, the god of... Let me just check my notes. Ah, yes. Plant fertility. Oh boy, these figs aren't looking too hot. Maybe if I throw my son into a burning pit of fire, they'll grow. Have you tried watering them, Dad? <laughs> hmm. No, we'll try that second. As a result of all their <laughs> training, Carthage had emerged as one of the Mediterranean superpowers. But wait, they said. Rome? They got what too close to Rome, my guy. Should have stayed further back. It's a pretty obscure little country that you've probably never heard of. But this spunky young nation was about to upset the entire region's balance of power. Initially, yeah. the two sides Ain't enjoyed it. relatively friendly relations, and had even signed a couple treaties. But it was a relationship that was practically destined to turn sour. Yeah, <laughs> See, Nick. Rome had a thing where they liked to <laughs> Matt aggressively David. expand their boundaries, often viewing such expansion as a defensive act. Kind of like when you kill your neighbor, because you knew eventually they would have tried to kill you first. RPG. Meanwhile, Carthage was extremely protective of its they wealth got too trade close. network. They got too so close. if you put a very strategically important island between them, well, two plus two equals war. Don't say Tensions anything. rose, okay. and the two sides began viewing each other with increasing disdain. The hard-working Romans looked across the water at the money-hungry Carthaginians and said, Look at those dishonest crooks. Bet they've never done an honest day's work in their lives. And the Carthaginians looked back and said, Look at those simple-minded brutes. 
but they've never sacrificed a baby in their lives. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. While war between the two superpowers seemed inevitable, the event that finally oh, triggered it was a little oh, unexpected. Right? The whole thing began with a few simple mad lads on a wild night out. These mad lads <coughs> are called the Mamertines. They were Italian mercenaries employed by the tyrant of Syracuse, here. But when he died, his successor said, Sorry, fellas, we don't need any big burly men with sharp sticks anymore. Mm. You can all go home. Aww. The Mamertines, as it turned out, didn't want to go <coughs> home. So instead, they went to the nearby town of Masana and said, Hey, man, we are but poor little buff boys without a home. May we come in? Aw, poor fellas. <laughs> sure thing. Uh -uh. Just so long as you promise not to massacre all of us. <laughs> we promise. Oh, wow. The Mamertines then massacred all of them. Well, of not all of them, just the men. And they stole their homes and families. Ha! This is my house now. <laughs> this is my best dad ever mug now. And you guys are my new family. Son? Wanna oh, Snuggle, what is he doing? With your old Playing dad? Among Us. You're not my real dad! <laughs> <laughs> Teenagers. Emo. Am I right, dear? <laughs> You're not my real husband. Ugh, I'm so trapped in this marriage. <laughs> then get out! No, Masada oh. <laughs> was now controlled by the Mamertines, and they began raiding up and down the Syracuse coastline. Dang. When the new ruler of Syracuse saw this, he wasn't happy. The Syracusans began fighting back. What kind of flag response, is this? The Mamertines said, oh crap, they're fighting back? What do we do? Quick, we'll convince the Carthaginians to come and save us. Uh -oh. oh no! We're in trouble, and we need a big, strong empire to come and <laughs> rub our bellies. Oh, Why are you no. saying it like that? If I was a big, strong empire, I think I'd like to be seduced. <laughs> See? It it's works. Oh, oh, oh. The Carthaginians had long dreamed of controlling all of Sicily. They had been fighting Syracuse and their Greek influence on the island for centuries. And oh. now, here was a great opportunity to get one over on them. So Carthage promptly answered the Mamertines' cry for help and sent a force to garrison Messana. As it turned out, however, some within the ranks of the Mamertines weren't too happy with the occupying Carthaginians, and they sent out a second cry for help oh. to Rome. Oh. When it reached the Roman Senate, they were a little more hesitant. Yo. Going to help the Mamertines ran the risk of triggering an all-out war <coughs> with Carthage, and they had only just finished conquering the Italian peninsula, so they were kind of tired. Plus, the Mamertines were all the way across the water. They had never made a leap like that before, so you would assume that to avoid any conflict with Carthage, the exhausted Romans would probably sit this one out. But you would assume wrong. Rome mm. just couldn't resist a good chance Love for war. war man. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's something you the gotta human. understand about Rome. <laughs> See, as a republic, they were hellbent on preventing any one man from ever gaining too much power. And so rather than having one leader, Rome had two, called consuls, who shared power. These consuls could also only serve for one year at a time before oh. new consuls were elected. Oh, These measures okay. to limit the powers of the consuls Smart. were noble, but had an interesting side effect. Not the consuls knew they had just one year to try and gain as much glory and prestige as possible, something that was very important in Lower Roman society. Prices. And the best way of gaining glory and prestige? Military victory, of course. The Roman political system basically ended up encouraging these consuls to go out and be as aggressive as your Italian grandmother when you don't eat all the spaghetti. And so the glory-seeking consuls convinced the people to vote in favor of going to Messana. And in, they went. Upon the arrival of the Romans, the Carthaginians in the city, amongst the confusion, bucko. were forced to leave. Now, in contrast to Roman aggression, the Carthaginian military had a slightly different philosophy. All right, kids, listen up. If you want to grow up to be Carthaginian military leaders, there's a few things you have to understand. If you fail to succeed on the battlefield, that's a crucifixion. Mm. Showing cowardice, that's a crucifixion. Mm. Hello, sir. What? what are you doing here? Aren't you meant to be in Messana? Yeah, that's but the oh, Romans showed up. So you... So these... Like religion, right? Like yeah, religion. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, they yeah were religion, like... religion's scary, bro. Oh, yeah, well, they the were Romans big were into, like, like, sacrificing <clears throat> kids and stuff. Yeah, the Romans were hugely um, religious as well, but they had different gods, obviously. Crazy, mm. bro. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Aren't you meant to be in Messana? Yeah, but the Romans showed up. So you just left? Sure did. <laughs> oh, you better believe that's a crucifixion. 
The Roman consuls were awarded for victory and therefore tended to be aggressive go-getters. By contrast, the Carthaginian generals were brutally punished for failure, and so mm. they tended to be more cautious and restrained. Yeah, this dynamic good. is helpful for understanding some of the crazy things that happened during the Punic Wars. So, absolutely, so, like, crossed over who would you want to failure? Really. Exactly, like, who would you want to yeah. like work for? Someone who's going to punish you for your mistakes, or like encourage you to go out and do better for your mistakes? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're wow. not going to get punished from Rome for losing, but you wouldn't yeah, call it to exactly. crazy. So you're not going to push forward. You're going to like hide and make sure you strike at the exact right time, which yeah, yeah, that time may not come. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. And now crazy. there was some red on the island. Oh, hit oh, that no. panic button. <laughs> this turn of events was unacceptable <laughs> to both you got blood on my and island. Syracuse. So the traditional enemies teamed up to kick the Romans off their island. They surrounded the city and said, "Hey." You jerks! This isn't your <laughs> island! Come out of there at once! Okay, we're coming! See, Phil, <laughs> you just gotta speak with authority. That's what being That's right. an alpha male's all about. Yeah, Amen. yeah James. Uh, oh, you brought your weapons and armor? No, I, I didn't mean... Oh, crap. Out the Roman legions came to engage the Carthaginians in battle, and they sent them packing. So stupid, with the Battle of Messina, whether intended or not, by going to help the Mamertines, the two sides had just slipped into an all-out war. With the initial Roman victory, towns across Sicily, including Syracuse, oh, no. uh -huh. began switching allegiance because oh, being a uh, is more fun. Oh, good. Oh, but the Carthaginians weren't about to just give up that easily. In 262 BC, they began building up their oh, this forces. This be going on for a while by now. Yeah. So the Romans, being aggressive, yeah, go how long aggressively go them. got them. The Romans right? immediately laid siege, hoping to starve out the Carthaginian garrison. However, because this was the first time Rome had been fighting outside the Italian... All right, question. I, I mean, obviously we don't know how it was back when, you know, because this is talking about way back when. But yeah. if you see someone building a wall, my guy, like, you can just sit there and let them finish it? No, you can't, Yeah, bro. but You can't do anything. Like, like remember, you're, you're, you don't have as many men... When, when there's a siege, they always have, like, five, six times your number. Because yeah. you can't, like, you have to think, when they're in the city, they need to survive and live out years with the food mm -hmm. that's in there. It's mm. insane, mate. Most times, <clears throat> they would give up because of starvation and shit. Yeah. Well, you know, they got, protect, so they got long. protection, too. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen, I've seen Troy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I understand. See, they, 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 they let people build shit, bro. Like, yeah, like, I, I, like, I seen like Troy. Dragon Ball Z, they let people charge up. <laughs> I, I, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, 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 did, I did see Troy. That, I mean... They, they they were surrounded. They were kept yeah. in inside their walls and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But there was a slick few of them that snuck out, man. Best believe I'd be hey, right bro. behind them. Like you found a hole in the wall, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. Mongolians <laughs> let the let the Great Wall of China been built. They they waited, Good. bro. Yeah, they waited thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna wait for them to build that wall, and then we're gonna go uh. siege it. <laughs> across the water, they struggled to supply their forces, <laughs> and before long, the Romans were as starving as the Carthaginians they were besieging. Oh, yeah, they, they had were. to forage for food, leaving mm -hmm. them open to ambush. There and we go. when Carthaginian yeah. reinforcements arrived, creating a double siege, things got really bad. Everybody starved each other for months until nobody could take it anymore, and they all finally <laughs> came out for battle, oh, wait, which they double siege them? won. Yeah. Here's the report from the recent siege at Agrigentum, sir. Won. We killed 30,000 while only suffering 7,000 losses? That's amazing! We're the best! <laughs> yes, sir. Oops, <laughs> those are the wrong way around. Oh, stop. What? We oh. lost 30,000? We're the worst! But we won, right? Yes, sir. But we also got our asses kicked. Yes, sir. So are we the best or the worst? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. The Romans <laughs> wanted Agrigentum because they were aggressive go-getters, and they now began eyeing up the possibility of conquering the entire island. But they also suffered very heavy losses, and it was clear they couldn't sustain a campaign uh, if they couldn't supply their troops. Here's the issue. Sicily. They weren't cautious like the other people were. They were like, let's go, get it, get it, get it. Boom, my guy, you lost like 30,000. We're going to explain it right now. Yeah, no, I didn't want to. Yeah, I island. think it's about food. Islands <clears throat> are surrounded by water. A strong navy would be vital for supplying troops and winning the war. Mm -hmm. Here was Carthage's navy. Oh. And here 
was yeah. rooms. Rose, basically I think nothing. you can see the problem. He fell off. Historians <laughs> debate just how much naval experience Rome had at this point. Presumably, they must have had something to defend their pipes? shoreline. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever it was, it would have paled in comparison to the Carthaginian juggernaut. And so Rome had to figure out exactly what to do about all this water. Come on, men. We're not going to let some pansy candy ass water get in the way of our glorious victory against uh -oh. the uh -oh. That's the uh, Greek, mate. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> what, what you just what you say, Bullock? Uh, that's Greek Spartans. And? These are Romans, that's Italy. And he has water get in the way of our glorious victory against Carthage. Charge! Tomakins! I love them! So they can't swim. We're gonna need a bigger boat. What's a boat? They didn't have a boat. I don't know. He just if jumped into the water. To win this I don't war know. And obtain Sicily. There was only one thing for them to do. I guess we're just gonna have to go ahead and build ourselves a war fleet, aren't we? From scratch? From scratch. But we don't even know how! Never mind how to fight with one. Don't worry, Hank. We're up to the challenge. Come on, guys. We're Romans. And Romans yeah, aren't worm. afraid of anything. <laughs> And so, the Romans worked long and hard trying to figure out how on earth you oh, actually build the latest style no. of war. But in the end, Bro. they had a bit of luck on their side. A Carthaginian Quinquirin ended up accidentally grounding on Italian soil. The accidentally. Romans uh, and copied the accidentally. Design. While the new fleet was That's being built, right the Romans there. trained rowers on land. And would you believe it? The Romans put together a full fighting fleet of 120 warships oh, in just damn. two months. A staggering feat. <laughs> that's now, insane. I know what you're thinking. No. But oversimplified. If the Romans can build a war fleet from scratch in two months, then why does it take you half a year to make a video? Well, what? my valued subscriber, I think you should shut up. <laughs> what the heck? How on earth did the Romans learn how to build a war fleet? This shouldn't be happening. From what I hear, they copied the design from us, sir. Well, how on earth did they get the blueprint, Carl? I don't Carl. Know, sir, but I'll tell you Carl. what. If you're worried about people stealing your data, no, <clears throat> and you want to protect yourself from outside. Here threats, we go. So there it is. is. There it Nord is. VPN. If you mention NordVPN, I'll scream. <laughs> Should use NordVPN. <laughs> Do you like corporations knowing everything about you and then selling your data to advertisers who convince he you set that one up you good. don't need in an endless cycle over and over until you die? Me neither. And that's why I use NordVPN. <laughs> NordVPN allows you to connect to super fast secure servers all around the world, encrypting your IP address to protect your online data from undesirable eyes. That yeah, means you can look at all the squatty right potties you want. <laughs> well, no. Wait, With just wait for the code, VPN, mate. You can search for better online deals in other territories and unlock content not available in your country. Code. NordVPN now comes with a threat protection function and much more. And if yeah. you don't like it, it comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Oh. Yeah. Go to nordvpn.com slash oversimplified to get an exclusive deal with a huge Stay discount. That's nordvpn.com slash oversimplified. One day. And as always, okay. you'll be supporting my channel. We love you, Nord. So thank you. Yeah, I love you. Now, yeah, where yeah, were we? Again. Oh, yeah. The siege at Aggregentum, supply issues, and building a war fleet. So now the Robert. Romans have a navy, and it's time to put it to the test. But how does one wage ancient naval warfare? Easy. All of the ships had giant bronze rams on the front, so all you had to do was outmaneuver <laughs> the enemy and give him the yeah. jimmies. Easy as pie. And so the aggressive Romans set out for some good old-fashioned jimmy giving. The consul, Gnaeus Cornelius Scipio, set out for the town of Lipara, believing the garrison there wanted to join the Romans. Picture, as he entered the har picture now, that's, that's the only way to fight war. It's like just by melee combat. Like, you got a ship, but no no torpedoes, no nothing. You just got to ram the other ship. Man, wars are going on forever, my guy. That'd be horrible. It's not, even, it's not even just ramming them, dude. You have to literally outmove them to go round to the side to get into their and side. Remember, and remember, and speed yeah, with yeah. human hands. Exactly. And the ships ain't even going and, that fast, my guy. <laughs> unless the wind's with them. Bro, unless the wind's, wind's with, with you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. The wind, bro. They how fast do you think those ships can get up to? Not that fast at all. <laughs> so, so they must have been some strong battering rams or some weak ships. 
the no, wind bronze, that way. Bronze on wood, bro. It was brass, bro. Bronze, something. It was heavy. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's easily yeah. smashed into wood. Okay. Mm -hmm. Harbor, yeah. however, he found himself Barbara. trapped by a Carthaginian fleet, and in the following skirmish, let me just roll it up on him. Completely yeah. outmatched. Yeah. Think the it. Romans may have had a brand new <laughs> fleet, <laughs> but when it came to engaging in actual combat, their inexperience showed. There was mm -hmm. just something better about the Carthaginian ships. It's already 260 the BC. Rowers had nicer abs. The entire Carthaginian Empire had been built on expert seamanship. So when it came to water, the Carthaginians were better and the Romans were wetter. In their initial skirmish, the Romans were beaten so badly that the consul Scipio was given a nickname, Asina. And if you're wondering what that means, just drop the Ina. So what were the Romans to do? Oh, How could shit. they possibly stand up to this yeah. Carthaginian superpower? Uh -oh. Well, there's something you gotta understand about the Romans. Back when they found that Carthaginian ship and copied its design, that, horse. that wasn't a one-off thing. <laughs> Copying their enemies was as Roman as punishing murderers yeah. by sewing them into a leather pouch with a monkey, snake, and rooster, and then throwing them into a river. Which what? is a thing they Wait. did. Wait, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, copying their enemies. Many of the most famous Roman inventions were actually borrowed. Aqueducts, chariot racing, their gods. Even in warfare, the, the Romans would get pierced the by a sabine <laughs> javelin. Right, and they'd be like, wow. They'd get hacked to bits <laughs> Still, by a sabine sword. And they'd be like, wow. <laughs> and they'd copy the designs for themselves. However, they wouldn't just copy it. They would advance it, finding ways to adapt it as perfectly oh, oh, oh. as possible. Oh, oh, oh. And in the case of good, naval though. warfare, the Romans realized if they wanted to beat the Carthaginians at their own game, they would have to adapt. The Romans excelled at combat on land, not mm -hmm. on water. But oh. what if, they said, <laughs> we could somehow turn a sea battle into a land battle? <laughs> Sounds crazy, oh, that shit, Mr. Right? Old Man. Well, <laughs> they made a couple of tweaks to their warship, and... Look, here they come again. They must huh? love getting their asses kicked. Uh, sir, what's that toll thing sticking out of their ships? <laughs> Scorpio, bro. They really are idiots. Look at that thing. That'll make them blow over. I mean, look at... <laughs> They're just creeping up slowly, bro. Bob. They're just creeping up. Bob, Big Bob. Get, get your camera out. <laughs> Take a picture of it. It's gonna fall down on you, my guy. just gonna hit him. I mean, how stupid can it's you be? It's just slowly coming. Let's just add a big wooden tower to our ship that'll weigh us down and blow us over in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what does that thing even do? Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Roll bridge. The Romans had yep. built a big swinging spiked gangway called the Corvus. So when the Carthaginian ships approached to ram them, the Romans would just slam them. The Carthaginians <laughs> tried going around. I no mean, problem. Look, I could the Corvus see it. could swivel. Try going That's behind. Insane. The Romans would huddle to the coastline. It was foolproof. Those big, sexy Carthaginian rowing muscles could flex all they want, but they were no match for the Roman mind. So, ladies, you see, what really matters is what's on the oh. inside. Please go out with me. And with that, <laughs> the Romans, who had only just recently began dabbling in the art of naval combat, thanks to their ingenious Corvus, had just managed to outclass the Mediterranean seafaring superpower. The Carthaginians were stunned, and the general oh, yeah, in charge of the defeated Corpus Carthaginian too. fleet? Well, you better believe that's a crucifixion. With their That's newfound insane. control of the seas, the Romans could now more easily blockade coastal cities and supply their legions on land. Yeah, Surely, the Romans yeah. were now free to unleash their aggression all over the island. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Hey Carthaginians, what are you gonna do now that we're free to rampage across the island? We're gonna go inside these walls and close this gate. Mm -hmm. Oh, Bye. come on guys, stop messing around. Come out so we can kill you. No. <laughs> oh, come on. No. No. Ow, no. To counter the new Roman supremacy, the Carthaginians decided to engage in a defensive war of attrition, <clears throat> forcing the Romans to engage in siege after lengthy siege. The war in Sicily became a long, hard, back and forth slug. One by That's one, just that little slowly fell island. as the Romans gained ground. Occasionally, yeah, just the Carthaginians countered and even pushed them back, only for the Romans to rebound again. 
And whenever a city did finally fall, the Romans could delight in slaughtering the entire population and selling any survivors into slavery, which was pretty standard procedure at the time. In general, the campaign on land was progressing. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, we did it to our own kind well before you lot. <laughs> 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 we just practiced on ourselves. Progressing <laughs> much slower than the Romans had hoped, and quite frankly, they were getting sick of it. So in 256 BC, they decided that something had to change. Oh, hey, oh damn. My name's Marcus Atilius Regulus. <gasps> oh, and I'm one of yeah. your consuls for this year. Look, as yeah, I'm yeah, sure he's you the all know, Sicily he made Rome. Yeah, you see his chin is different than everyone else's. Not head. only his chin, not only his chin, but Bulldog over there like creaming my guy. You good? Dude, you look at uh, how he came down, bro. No, uh, he, chin, chin first. The guy who changed how the Romans did military. Well, he literally made Rome the like the expansive yeah. it could be. Well, we're, we're about to find we, we, we out. Watched that, we, we watched that movie, bro. I'm about to watch Marcus. Where is your aliens? Was it a good accent, Bulldog? being a bit of a drag sure i could go and spend my entire year as consul besieging one single city but they'll never make a naked statue of me for that so here's the new plan i'm gonna skip sicily entirely take my army and go right for the heart of carthage itself i'll slaughter the men enslave all the women and children and when i return you'll all build a thousand naked statues of me that's what happened right uh, marcus no that Women and children stuff. That seems pretty evil and barbaric. No, Jim, it's perfectly normal in the ancient world. Sometimes we even chop their pets in half. Okay, guys. Looks like said, the Romans huh? are coming straight for us this time. And what will they do when they get here? They'll kill us all. They'll massacre each and every last one of us. They may even chop our pets in half. That's barbaric! No, Rob, it's actually pretty normal for the time. We do the same to them. Who'll protect us? Funny you should ask, Mary. That's kind of why I called this meeting. Who will protect us? Protect our families, our homes, our children. You guys, ha, don't make me laugh. Why, you're just a bunch of stupid and weak farmers, simple-minded buffoons, cowards, <laughs> fools. The music don't match this. Rob here, who thinks enslaving women and children is barbaric. You're a snowflake, Rob. Yes, you are. <laughs> the fact is, if the Romans manage to land on African soil, we're all gonna die. A terrifying, hideous, unspeakably painful death. Yeah. Is that the end of that speech? <laughs> yes. But why? <laughs> yes. <laughs> The Carthaginians had to stop the Romans from ever landing in Africa because they believed that would be the end. So as the Romans... But why? If they're doing such a good job defending a small island, can't they control their mainland? Well, no, because it's the capital. It's where all the leaders and stuff are. If it falls, everywhere else falls because all the people, all the governors will want to take charge because there's nothing left. You have to remember, power is everything back then. Well, I understand, but why won't they be able to defend where most of their troops are? Compared to where only some of the troops are. Because oh, it's really ancient there. history, mate. They like, can't just ring someone and say, oh, shit, there's a fleet on the way. <laughs> yeah, bro. You know hey, what I'm hey, like, Oh, you're so... I'm not going to try it, bro. <laughs> oh, oh, shit, I've got a fleet over there. Right, let's, uh, let's send a crow out. I know you the fleet can be back in three months. They had no idea. Be a bit late, mate. Fleet, the size of which <laughs> you the didn't get the memo. <laughs> the Carthaginians were preparing an even bigger one. To I'm sorry, guys. I got to remember that we're talking about uh, <clears throat> BC, bro. Oh, Back man, in you know, 259 just... BC. I got you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Stop this is them. like ancient, ancient. 256 BC. 56 BC, my fault. The Roman invasion yeah, yeah, fleet yeah. made its way Look south. The Look stage that. was set for a oh, humongous shit. battle. Nah, they got they got those bridges, my guy. Around 300,000 men. Fighting oh. to decide the course of the war. To this day, the Battle of Cape Egnomus remains possibly the largest naval battle in human history. Potentially. All the way back See that in ancient Stop times. Game up. So the next time you. Motherfuckers <laughs> losing that war, though. Is They're that, not. Is that, is it... 
Huh? What? <laughs> that tells you about the <laughs> Japanese aircraft carrier. Kick him in the nuts. The Romans had a lot riding on this battle. They weren't just sending their warships, but transports as well. Full of supplies and horses for their invasion of Africa. Oh, they therefore they formed a protective wedge-like formation to Ooh. punch through the long, thin Carthaginian line. The Carthaginian generals, however, desperate to prevent the Romans from reaching Africa, had a plan of their own. As the Roman fleet approached, oh, yeah. the Carthaginian... I'm going to say something real fast. What's yeah, up? yeah, come on. So, when they was defeating them and then enslaving them, they were indeed enslaving Africans. Yeah. He, just didn't, he just didn't make them black on his illustration, but they are indeed African. Yeah, but yeah, but Carthage was. But remember where they started from. I didn't say uh, Africa. Africa, my guy. They were enslaving yeah, Africans in, in two hundred and fifty BC, my boy. They're in Africa, bro. They're in Africa right now, bro. They were in Africa, bro. That's so why they just got his. He yeah, went they're, in a toner on his yeah, print. Bro, yeah, bro. they're they're slightly darker, but all in all, they're African. The Carthage. The, 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 the I'm Carthage sorry, Bulldog. Different. What you think was right and white was actually black. I never said they were white. They're more Arabic. Africa, my boy. Okay. Had a plan of their own. <laughs> As the Roman fleet approached, there were no the blacks back then, bro. <laughs> if you're actually going on about that, you were still in tribes and stuff while this was going on. Oh, so, so black people wasn't smart enough to come out the caves yet, huh? <laughs> and you just should have said cave, you implemented that one. Your skin didn't get dark until later, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hot enough, Africa, dude. Learning a whole yeah. bunch of stuff from Bulldog today. Yeah. Think a retreat, luring the Romans in so their outstretched flanks could envelop them and uh -oh. get around oh, the Roman nice. Corvus. A clever ah, plan. Ah, smart. But oh, with except... such a huge battle and so many yeah. ships crowded together, the Carthaginians struggled to maneuver. As oh, well. backfire, my three guy. Three separate Let's battles go. emerged across the yeah, huge battle the space. <laughs> the, ships limiting their... the word black <laughs> makes them sneeze every time. What? <laughs> Don't act surprised, bro. James is getting on you right now. <laughs> Sneezing, crying at me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, we, 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 we're, just, we're just joking. We give Bulldog a hard time all the time, especially when they mention stuff like Africa and all that. Yeah. Billy. 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 <laughs> the Carthaginians <clears throat> became sitting ducks, and all the Romans had to do was start swinging. The they Romans always hit that foot guy. Out on top, mm. And were then able Bitch. to turn around <laughs> and rescue their pinned down flank. Those ships are moving fast. The Battle oh, yeah, of Cape Egnomus was a Roman victory. Yeah. Damn. Oh. So who found all those oh. bodies and tallied them up? <laughs>